if we don't get this bit right, then uh, nothing else works. If you have a knot here, then uh, you're forever fighting. People can come here and they can see the weaving in process and they can chat to the weavers and ask them questions. We get a lot of people from the weaving industry, don't we, who go, I remember back in the day <laughs> when we worked on this, that or the other. Yeah, there's not, there's not that many jobs these days where you can actually make something and sell it. So the, the manufacturing side of our, our business really starts in here where we set up all our patterns onto this machine here. So we'll put 80, 100 cones of wool on, thread them all through in the right order and then we end up with the pattern as we would expect it to come out. We had the great pleasure of weaving rugs for Prince Charles a few years back for his Welsh home. We did, yeah. So he came down and Tom, Tom let him loose on the looms, didn't you? Yes, he might have a bit of his own carpet, which was quite good. <laughs> yeah, which was quite amusing. Okay, so once we've, uh, once we've done our warp in there, then we'll bring, the, bring all the yarn through on a big beam. So the next, the next bit of the process is to tie, is to tie the, the warp in that's been wound on the drum through the back. It's quite a nice job actually, it's quite a relaxing job to do. A good one for those learning to weave as well. We've got a, uh, a little competition going between us who can tie the, the knots the quickest. So far nobody can beat me, but I'm sure their day will come. And these machines are very versatile. They can weave anything from really fine, sort of uh, worsted cloth, right up to the really heavy floor rugs. This is about on the, on the top end of, of what they'll weave. The machines themselves are a big, heavy, you know, one-ton greasy, oily machines, aren't they? And then to produce this lovely, wonderful cloth off them that people can touch and feel and take home is, is you can't get that really in very many places these days. And this is always like a hidden secret place that people think, oh wow, look what we've stumbled upon. So we're very lucky.